I was first diagnosed in my early 20s. I was working for a high-tech company and my uh, coworker noticed that I looked tired and I had yellow in my eyes and my skin. And at the same time, around that time, my mom became involved in the hepatitis B awareness cause. And so I had some information about hepatitis B. I went straight to my family physician and had him test me. And the test did indeed come back positive. I kind of started to freak out a little bit because um, I knew the statistics and I told people every day that a million people die every year from it and um, I read stories about 20 year olds who get diagnosed with hepatitis B and then die before they hit 25 because of liver cancer. So I was first diagnosed in 1998 when I was donating blood and I volunteered to donate blood and a week or two later in the mail I get a letter saying that they're not able to use my blood because I have the hepatitis B antigen in my, in my blood so they won't be able to use it. I was first diagnosed with hepatitis B when I first got pregnant in 2004 with my first daughter. After I got off work um, the same day that I got diagnosed I um, of course called my parents first and told them. Um, I talked to my mom on the phone and um, told her what my, what my boss had told me, um, that I had hepatitis B and I explained to her what it meant because um, I don't think she really knew what it was or um, what it could do. So after I told her and told her that um, the most likely mode of transmission was between mother and child, um, she, um, she started to apologize and said, um, sorry, like, it's my fault, isn't it? Um, and then I think she just felt really guilty for it. Um, so, yeah, that was the hardest part. My mom has it. She's also a carrier, uh, as well as my siblings. And it's mostly because when she gave birth, she had no knowledge of the disease. I think it's great that in the United States, every mother who becomes pregnant is tested for hepatitis B because what better time to find out than when you have the possibility of transmitting it to your child. So if you know your hepatitis B, it's no big deal. All you have to do is make sure that you vaccinate your children. And you know, there's nothing else you have to think about after that. When I was born, the hepatitis B vaccine wasn't routinely given for um, babies at birth um, if their moms had hepatitis B. Um, so maybe if it had been um, required when I was born, I wouldn't have hepatitis B now. I didn't get the vaccine until um, three or four before I started kindergarten. I found out that I could protect my infant from hepatitis B by um, vaccinating him. So right after he was born, he received the HBIG and then a series of three hepatitis B shots. My doctor told me to tell the hospital staff that I was a hep B carrier and to make sure that they remember that after I deliver the baby, that she gets two shots after birth within the 12 hours to protect her from getting hepatitis B. My daughter got the testing for hepatitis B. When I found out that my daughter wasn't a hepatitis B carrier, I was happy, relieved, and so, so blessed. It's really the last, th hepatitis B and my children having hepatitis B really is in the back of my mind. I never have to think about it because they've received the vaccinations and they've tested positive with the antibodies. So I know that I never have to think about them having hepatitis B. I was very relieved when I found out that there was a, a prevention for my children and that hepatitis B would stop with me. It was a relief for me to know that hepatitis B could stop right at me and didn't have to get passed on to my daughter. Knowing that it'll stop with me is just, I don't know, makes it kind of easy to live with. I think 
Um, I feel that having my children vaccinated gives me a sense of security knowing that they will never contract hepatitis B and that I have protected them for life. To learn more, visit happymoms.org.